Hey, look at this! Is it a ghost? No, it's a bunch of weird old singing rocks. Well, that doesn't sound too worrying. Hey, it's another songstone! There was one of these over by the airfield the other day. It's trying to sing to us. Want to try and understand it? What does it say, Biggie? Is it singing to you? Yeah, kinda. It says, the dreaded... The dreaded? What does that mean? No idea. The one that's over by the airfield said, beware, though. Beware the dreaded. Beware the dreaded! That doesn't sound too good. The dreaded what? I don't know, short stuff. I'm not too keen on finding out, either. I can tell you that for nothing. Look! There she is! Shush! You don't need to go around drawing attention to us. Now that we know where she's coming from, I guess we should investigate further. How did I know you were going to say that? A gravestone. I wonder what it's doing over there. Come in, come in. Don't stand on ceremony. It's, it's not often we get visitors. Thank you, sir. It's so nice to see a new face. It glups the name Jeremiah Glup. Can I get you anything? There's always coffee. No, no, no. You're, you're a bit young for that yet. How about a nice slice of cake? That's very kind, sir. Only I was... Sorry, son. You'll have to excuse me a moment. Nora should be by any second. She always loved her coffee, did Nora? Last thing she ever did. I'll just have another sip of coffee before I head out, Jeremiah. That's what she said. Nora? She's... My wife, yes, that's right, young man. <laughs> Leastways, she was. She's a ghost! That she is, son, that she is. She died, oh, many years back now. You know, I'm surprised you can see her. Not many folks can. Mind you, not many folks wander around with a Sasquatch, either. 
You know Biggie's a Bigfoot? Yeah, of course I do. His forest is full of all kinds of sprites and spirits. And Well, I've been living out here long enough to be on a first-name basis with most of them. Sasquatch used to leave their big old footprints all over these parts. That was in the old days, mind. Before the big old forest fires of 53. Ain't seen hide nor hair of one since then. Well, not till your pal arrived, anyhow. Did you... Did you ever happen to meet a Bigfoot called Furra? She would have looked a little bit like me. Sorry, big fella. Can't say I ever did. Was she related? Yes, sir. She was my mom. Sorry, son. It, it ain't ringing any bells. Don't worry, Biggie. We'll track her down. Do you mind if I ask what happened to your wife, sir? No, no, not at all. It was a storm that did it. Well, <laughs> that and those beavers on the other side of the gully. Not that I blame them, mind. They're just doing what comes natural to them. You see, they'd built up this big old dam at the end of the creek, and then an even bigger old storm came and hit. <laughs> Between the two of them, it pretty much flooded us out. Not good. No, indeed. <laughs> we were hunkering down in here when Nora got to thinking she wanted to check on the hens we used to keep in the yard. I'll just have a sip of coffee, then go check on the old girls, she said. Then she stepped out into the storm, and she never stepped back. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. It was a long time ago. I laid her to rest not far from here, just on the other side of the pond. Somehow, though, it seems like she never found that rest. She keeps coming round having her coffee, heading out again just like she did that last night. That's real sad. Oh, it's not so bad, really. I don't think she's suffering. I just wish I could find a way to let her reach her rest. If there's a way to do it, though, I ain't found it. You know, I was just sorting through some pictures of Nora and I when you got here, reminiscing about the sweet first days of our marriage. All a long time ago. I can barely remember when half these pictures were taken. <laughs> kind of hard to get them in the right order. Some of them look kind of weird. <laughs> I guess you're too young to know what to make of these, huh? <laughs> They're what you call photo negatives. Used to use them to make copies of your pictures before all that newfangled computer whiz bangery came along. Really? That's super weird. Still, I think I can still tell what they are. Maybe I can help you sort these out. Well... Yep. Awesome. Thank you, son. You're a good boy. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
Good to see you again, son. Thanks for stopping by to see an old fella. Wow, this all looks so complex. It certainly is. Sadly, it don't work so well these days. How's that, sir? Well, it should all be hooked up to the water wheel. Only the seven and three quarters Fassenbauer clamp went years ago. And what with me being retired and all, I didn't ever see the need to replace it. Still, I can show you how it works if you like. I sure would. Well, just pull that handle over there. It's going to take more than that, son. Put your back into it now. That's the way. Well done, sonny. Wow, I feel like a million dollars. So positive! Oh, yes, 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 yes! Wow, Biggie! You're an enormous furball! Yes, that's me! Oh, yes! Isn't it great? Yes, 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 yes! Don't worry. It'd wear off any second. Oh, I was enjoying that! If this old thing was hooked up to the water wheel, you could keep your furry friend there charged up for hours. You never know when you might need a big bundle of positivity. How would we hook it up to the water wheel? Well, it's all pretty much there. Except you'd need a new seven and three quarters Fassenbauer clamp. The one we had's been missing for years. <laughs> and it's a devil to find a replacement. Well, I guess we can keep an eye out for one, can we, short stuff? Nothing like how good it would be if we had that press and pop. Oh. I guess that must be where the miller buried his wife. Don't tell me. You want to take a closer look, don't you? How'd you guess? I think we've... Got it! Nice! Come on, Biggie. Let's take a look. 
Nora May Glup, beloved wife of Jeremiah Glup. May she rest in peace. If only she was resting in peace. Here we are, short stuff. Time we made our date with Crack Skull Mountain. And hopefully with Bill Scoops, the rockabilly firefighter, too. Do you think he's still alive? It's been 60 years since anyone's seen him. I don't know, short stuff. I hope so. He's the only lead I've got if I ever want to find my mom. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. There is no way I'm walking across that. There goes Mrs. Glup again. If only there was some way she could get past that dam. It's those beavers' negative charge that's stopping her. If only there was some way to make it go away. Poor husband. He was a happy... Oh. 
sad. Weird kid. I thought you two were investigating Crack Skull Mountain. Yeah, that's going kind of slow. What's that you're reading? It's a Moonlight fan magazine. They know nothing about the Moonlight movies. It's not about whether you liking Robison, the smoldering weird turnip with the faraway eyes and the sad knowing smile, or Patriciano, the soulful fishman with the troubled past and really amazing abdominal muscles. It's about understanding the way their relationships interweave with Amberlin's slow growth towards womanhood. So you're saying the only real Moonlight fans are those that like both Robison and Patriciano? That's kind of a crude way of putting it, but you've pretty much got it. It's just a pity so few people can understand the subtleties. Want to try and understand it? Let's see. Yeah. Yay! Well done, weird kid. There are very few people with enough smarts to see the true meaning of being a Moonlight fan. And you just happen to be one of those ultra-smart people? Exactly. My genius is my curse. Now, 
That won't work either. There must be something wrong with this ridiculous contraption. Hi, Mr. Flommerly. Is that the route for the nature walk? Well, what a surprise. Here's young Mr. Jones, doubtless about to offer his assistance. No, sir. I was just kind of wondering. Weren't we supposed to be bridge building? Not until I thought out this map. Now, be off with you. Um, maybe I could help. This arrogant assumption that your cognitive abilities outmatch those of your elders and betters is becoming somewhat irritating, Jones. Be off. Although, perhaps it will amuse to see you flap and flounder. Are you up to the challenge? You have it completely! Right? Yay! Well, hello there, Jacob. Hi, Miss Shania. What are you up to? 
just trying to work out where we should pitch camp. Say, you're pretty gnarly with your field craft, aren't you? Wanna give me a hand? Reckon you've got that. Wrong. Dang. Never mind, JJ. You know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, want another try? Reckon you've got that. Aced. Yeah. Radical work, Jacob. I'll be all set up in no time. You're a real smart kid, aren't ya? <laughs> well... Come on, JJ. No need to be modest. Mrs. Haggerty was right. We should keep a special eye on a bright little guy like you. Sorry, Jacob. Still got a lot of setting up to do. Maybe we can talk later. Okay. Huh? Dude, my bridge is gonna be so bridge-tastic, it'll totally obliterate all the others. Does that even make sense? Yo, Jacob. Come to give me a hand. Sure. What are you working on? Shania's got me looking over a blueprint for the bridge, and it's a real head-scratcher. Wanna take a look?
Let's see. Yep. Yay! Thanks for the help, JJ. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. Hmm. So let's. That could come in handy. Revolting! Utterly revolting! What a vile creature! What's that, sir? Tempted, as I am to say, that I was referring to you, Jones. I was making reference to this ghastly little insect over here. Whatever it is. Wow. It's a Havergasty beetle. You can tell by the markings. You're an expert, I take it. I should have known. Oh, no. But my mom is. These things are incredibly rare. Doubtless you're going to tell me why. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not that surprising, really. You see, whenever they get tired or hungry, Havergasties have a tendency to eat their own young. Ugh, a veritable to murder. How awful. I wonder what this one's up to. Shall we try and work it out? Hmm. I feel quite disturbed, Jones. Meteor truly is red in tooth and claw. It sure isn't always pretty. Indeed.